So Aqua just published a new version for Logic, version 11. And one feature that I'm really excited for was uh, Stem Splitter. It's kind of like their stem separation for Logic. Uh, so yes, uh, let's try to check it out and uh, see how it works. So a little side note, from my understanding, this only works on Apple-based uh, silicon and not the uh, Intel-based uh, computer. So that is some to something to keep in mind. So one thing is that uh, until now, I've been using like uh, those websites to kind of split my uh, samples every now and then. Although I don't really use it very often, but I use those uh, those uh, sample sites here and there. Uh, a free one that I used to use was called uh, Vocal Remover, I think. So feel free to check them out. But this one, this one is a is a is a really cool. Uh, <laughs> Really cool integration that uh, just came to Logic Pro. So right here, I have a have an audio track, or at least a song, and it's uh, to access the the menu. You just right click and then stem splitter or processing and then sp stem splitter. Looking at this, it only offers like four options: so a vocal, a drum, bass, and others. So it kind of, I think, separates based on like the the range. Uh, one thing is that there is no like uh, control, so kind of like dialing intensities or things like this. But it's uh, just like divided in four parts. So if I go to split, the <laughs> The splitting itself doesn't really take that long. It's a more rendering the tracks that takes the most time, I guess. But yes, right here I have four parts of the same songs. The vocal part. It won't be easy leaving. And then the drums. The bass. And the other is, I guess, all sort of the, like the, the rest of the instrument. Now, uh, like any sort of like AI splitter, I think it has like a, this kind of weird muffle on the high ends. For example, on some samples, I think there is somewhere here. So for instance, on this drone, You hear a little muffle somewhere on the high end. That is uh, that is a little bit uh, weird, but I mean this example is kind of really simple, so it's not very audible. But there is always these kind of little muffles on the hi hat sometimes, uh, and even on the vocals you can also hear some of this. In a search for peace of mind, it's no ending. In a search for peace of mind, of mind. You see, there, there is that little kind of, of mind, little kind of muffles. I think this is the better stem splitter that I've, uh, that I've used so far. But then again, most of the ones that I used are like the free options that I find online. Now there are of course use cases to use this. But just to kind of show, this is uh, the one that I've been kind of testing for the last uh, couple of days since it's dropped is mostly drums because I think this is a great way to kind of get some drum loops without any other uh, instruments on them. So let's hear this one. And like I said, the muffle, the muffle part, you can kind of fix them, like adding a little EQ brightness. And one thing that I also uh, <laughs> really like the combination to put on the drums for the for the most part is this uh, saturation plugin, uh, Chroma Glow. Uh, it's 
I'm still kind of trying to learn a little bit about this. But one thing I like, I think one of these <clears throat> is kind of mimicking uh, tape, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, was it magnetic? So one thing I like is uh, putting the drive all the way to 100 and then lowering the mix to maybe something I like. so far is good uh let's see uh, maybe a little preset on the bass yes the chroma glow does does kind of boost the 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 drums a little bit because with all of this kind of processing, there is a lot of elements that are being lost. Uh, like I said, adding a little bit of EQ kind of tends to help. Uh, I've tested on other uh, samples and it seemed like everything kind of looks fine, I guess. It won't be easy leaving. It won't be easy leaving. It won't. Won't be easily then. That's a cool loop, Lim. Just give me a second. <laughs> Something like this. It won't be easily then. It won't be easily then. It won't be easily then. So yes, it's a it's a really cool uh, stem splitter. Like I said. So far, the one that I like the most is using it to get the drums because I really like the on some of these old records. I think the drums are really nice, especially like the little drum fills, the 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 kind of acoustic drums, uh, the vocals, and also the other sections. Sometimes it's it's all right when like everything is very clear. But one thing I did try was uh, to kind of record one of my cassettes. But then, you know, cassettes tends to be a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, lower quality in some cases. So it, sometimes it doesn't really pick things up. It kind of makes us the drums uh, with the basses sometimes. But in this example, this is this is a, this is a great example. So it's here, uh, version 11. I saw some comments that this version was not really like a full version because from 10.8 to 11, that was a big jump. Uh, what do you think about it? Uh, I like at least as long as we get updates, I'm always happy. So, you know, it's it's always nice to get some, uh, some sort of updates, but just for the stem splitter, I think this is a, this is a very good uh, feature because you know stem splitter and stems has kind of been very popular lately, like MPCs, Vault Studios, and the old uh, AI stuff. So yes, I do really like this. Like I mentioned, there is like these little lacking like high end, a little bit of lack of clarity every now and then. But uh, adding a little bit of EQ after you kind of split everything or kind of adding a little bit of a chroma glow. This chroma glow is great though. Uh, adding a little bit of these sort of things 
kind of boost it not just to leave it as like i get the stems and then i just leave it like this but you know this 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 seems to work uh i've had a little success some failures where it kind of doesn't really <laughs> doesn't really separate things that well <clears throat> especially on the kind of a I guess lower quality records but at the end of the day if you're kind of doing like sampling it is always kind of nice to have these uh, little separations here and there so you can like sample different sections not necessarily like section of the the progression of the songs but different uh, section of the structure of the song itself so yes I like it it's kind of nice to have it in logic just right click and then stem splitter instead of like uh, the way I used to do is like going into a different application website and then uploading my songs and then waiting and doing other things uh, there is some uh, other features in uh, version 11 that I really like but yes I will talk about those in other videos but yes man stem splitter version 11 thank you for uh, checking this out and I'll catch you on the next one